Today, you're going to be making homemade ice cream. Not only is this recipe delicious, creamy, and easy, but here's the greatest thing about it. You can put it in your freezer and it will still stay scoopable. So grab your apron, let's get started as I show you step-by-step -step how to make this perfect ice cream. Here's what you're going to need. Sugar, whole milk, whipping cream, light corn syrup, vanilla paste, and then a couple of secret ingredients. Dry milk powder. This will help with smoothness and creaminess. Our second secret ingredient is gar gum, and don't let this scare you. It is natural product derived from the beans of the gar plant. This will help prevent ice crystals and add a creamy texture. Start by combining the sugar, the dry milk powder, and the gar gum in a small bowl. Stir that all together until it's well combined. Add the whole milk to the corn syrup in the pan and stir together. Next, add the sugar, milk, and gar gum mixture and whisk this together over a medium heat until the sugar dissolves. Be really careful that it doesn't come to a simmer. This only will take about three minutes. Well, it's been about three minutes and the sugar is fully dissolved. Now you're going to add the whole cream, about a cup, and then you're also going to add the vanilla. I really like this vanilla bean paste because it has, it show, has little vanilla beans in it, so it has those great little uh, brown and black dots that look so delicious in there. Plus, I find this doesn't freeze up quite as, as thick. So stir that all together really well. Next, transfer the mixture to an airtight container and chill it in the refrigerator for at least a six hours or up to 24 hours for really great flavor. My ice cream base is fully chilled. It is ready to be frozen. Actually, I made this one last night so it would be ready to go. That's how I got to this point so quickly. But here's a tip, you can, serve, you can save this base in your refrigerator for up to a week or if you wanted to, you could even put it in your deep freeze, the base, and save it. Just make sure when you are ready to put that base from your freezer into your ice cream freezer that you fully thaw the base before you do that. Let's talk real quick about the two most popular types of ice cream freezers. One is the bowl freezer where you put the bowl itself into the freezer, then that goes into your ice cream maker and chills the ice cream that way. Another option is this compressor ice cream, which is what I've got. It has a compressor in it which lowers the temperature of the bowl in there and makes the ice cream. I like to prep my freezer, my ice cream freezer ahead of time and make sure it gets cold enough. I like to have it to about a negative 30 before I get started with that. At that point, when it's cold enough, you'll want to stir that base in case there's been any separation while it's been chilling. And then you'll be ready to pour it in there and freeze it. In mine, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to get to a delicious soft serve consistency. This has been going for about 20 minutes and it's to a soft serve consistency. However, I'd like it to be more scoopable. So in just a minute, I'll be stopping this. I will take the ice cream out of the freezer and, or out of this ice cream freezer, put it into my container and put it into the freezer for several hours or overnight. And here's the great thing about this. You know how a lot of times homemade ice cream is as hard as a rock once you put it into the freezer? Not this. It will be perfectly scoopable and perfectly creamy. You're gonna love it. Your ice cream has ripened in the freezer for a few hours. It's gotten a little bit harder, but the great thing, still completely scoopable. This is a great, delicious recipe. You'll, you're gonna love it. If you've enjoyed this video, then please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell so you'll be notified every time we have a new recipe. Thank you for watching today. We'll see you next time.